lawns are starting to turn green across the east with some warmer weather here. Some looking better than others. First Alert meteorologist Pierce Legion went to the experts to get tips on how to get that perfect lawn. If your lawn's anything like mine, it's in pretty sad shape right now. But a few simple tips can take your lawn from drab to fab. And who better to ask for help than the experts who care for the athletic fields at ECU? They tell me time is ticking on getting a head start on a green lawn. Right now you want to pre-emerge everything to keep those uh, summer weeds from coming up. And then uh, if you have any winter weeds coming up, you want to try to control those and spray something on those like a weed and feed. However, you need to be careful. Some weed killers are designed to kill anything green, including your grass. So make sure you buy one targeted for the weeds taking over your lawn. The most common type of grass in backyards across the east is centipede. It's important to pick a fertilizer designed to work with the type of grass you have. Centipede doesn't take a lot of nitrogen. I mean, it only takes about one pound per year. So anything uh, with uh, potassium and phosphorus in it, uh, a little higher number. For most grass types, you'll want to fertilize about once every six weeks. Beyond that, it's just a matter of keeping your lawn cut regularly and watering enough. Again, quantity here is important. Perry says you should water your lawn about once a week. Despite a very wet winter, overall, lawns across the east fared pretty well. Around here it didn't get cold enough where it would freeze the soil, where it would actually, you know, get a winter kill, you know, problem in that area. This should make your journey toward that award-winning lawn a little easier. The healthier you can get your lawn before summer heat settles in, the better chance you'll have of keeping it that way all season long. In Greenville, meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side. And Perry says thanks to the warmer weather this year, lawns across the east are coming back to life about two weeks earlier than they did last year.